Francesca Demore and I'm the owner and creator of Freedom Couture. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through all of the steps and secrets on how to keep your lace laid every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I'm just showing you all of my natural real hair, which I have grown and protected from wearing lace wigs. So I'm going to be transforming from my natural hair to this beautiful wig and let's start slaying. really really important part to making sure that your wig stays slayed is using a high quality unit. If you're not using a high quality unit then it's just going to be way too much trouble. When you use a good quality wig, things like lace which will be a lot more invisible um, because it's softer and it fits to your scalp a lot easier. Also things like the quality of hair, um, when you're walking it will move with you. If the wind blows it will blow and have this beautiful movement to it. If you're using low quality hair it tends to be a lot more stiff and dry. Also with high quality textured hair you have a lot more flexibility in terms of styling um, which will make it look more real and constantly be looking beautiful because you can change the um, style for different occasion so you can curl it or straighten it. All of my units, which are Freedom Couture units, are all handmade, so I knot every single hair strand in. And the hair that I use is raw cashmere Cambodian hair, which I buy from my donors in Cambodia, which means that since the women have been born, they've never once put any chemicals or heat on the hair. And this is why I use that hair, because it is the highest quality and it's rich in moisture. Making your knots invisible. What knots means is when we attach the hair to the lace, we actually knot it in. So when you see the little black dots on your lace, that's what people are referring to when they say knots. When you put the wig on and you part it and you can see these little black dots, it doesn't look that natural. So by making these knots invisible, it's going to give the illusion of a much more realistic scalp. A lot of people will bleach the knots, however I don't prefer that method because it dries the cuticle of the hair out, which is what stores all the moisture and it also isn't very healthy for the lace. So I'm using my colour powder and I'm working it in with a powder brush to cover the knots on the lace. This is a really natural option and it's also very healthy for the hair. Customizing your hairline is extremely important. Sometimes lace wigs can look too high in density and too thick and too straight along the hairline. We all know that a natural hairline is imperfect and it is a lot thinner. So I always make my units um, by placing the hair when I'm actually making them. I don't tweeze my custom hairlines because I feel like sometimes it might rip the lace. But if you buy a unit, this is a really good way for you to achieve a customised hairline by yourself. You want to use tweezers and you want to go in and the aim is to thin out and make the hairline a little bit more imperfect in shape. So um, it's a little bit more of an S shape and it's got some pockets and it's not too straight.
Tightness and firmness is extremely important to making your wig slayed. You can choose different methods to how you want to wear your unit. You can sew it in by braiding your hair down and installing the unit. You can glue it, which I would not recommend as it's not that healthy for your edges and it's not long lasting. Or you can do the glueless method and the temporary method, which is using an elastic band. So you just use a piece of elastic and you measure it from ear to ear and then you sew from side to side. questions from my bellas on how to set your parting. It is so easy and you can set it anywhere you want. You can put it in the middle this week and next week easily change it to the side or a flip. All you have to do is make the part you want using a comb, then spray it down and then tell the hair where you want it to sit by brushing it in that direction. Then you can let it air dry um, and leave it wet or you can just simply blow dry. <laughs> So now it's time for the style and this is the hair in its raw natural condition. So this is our raw wavy texture. I love this texture because it gives a lot more volume and it sits a lot more full than the natural straight. I'm just applying some Kakadu coconut and papaya serum to the hair to give it a little bit of moisture. And I'm actually going to be giving it a quick blow wave before I style it. Because it is naturally wavy, if I curl it, it'll start to revert back to its natural curl um, in a few days. So if I straighten it, it's just going to allow the curls to last for about two weeks. I'm using a 2 inch wand curl and it's a cone wand curler, which means that it goes from thicker to thinner. I love using this style because I find that it gives a much more natural wave. Also using a wand on longer units like this one, which is 26 inch will help to give it a lot more volume. If you're trying to curl it with a straightener, by the time you get to the end, the curl will be very loose. And the perfect secret to getting those big voluminous bombshell curls is to curl everything back. So as you can notice, when I curl it, I set it back. Then I let it set in that direction and then when I'm ready to put it on, when I bring the hair forward, it means that the root of the hair has a lot more volume because it's actually cooled down going backwards. So that is a really important step to making sure that your unit has a lot of life and movement. Okay, so time to change wigs. So I'm taking my blonde goddess curl unit off, keeping the same net, and then I'm just going to be applying the new unit by applying it low on my forehead, putting the band, readjusting and flipping up. The elastic band method is so quick and easy. It's an amazing way to have your wig sit perfectly flat, really secure so you feel comfortable and also it won't um, damage any of your edges. I'm gonna fix my game. 